Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at a PLC programming example and we're going to program a process mixer. Now on my screen here uh, we have um, a process mixer that we're going to program. We have a start and a stop. We have a solenoid A, a solenoid B. We have a motor or an agitator. We have an empty sensor here and we have a full sensor. Now the first part that we're going to use is the we're going to use the five step approach and the first one is to find the task. So the task basically is when we hit the start button the uh, solenoid A will open up and it will fill up water um, past the empty sensor to the full sensor then it will stop. Then the motor will come on and agitate uh, the mixture for three minutes then once that three minutes is up it will uh, stop the mixer it will then open up solenoid B to empty the tank it will come off full sensor and go down the empty sensor in which the whole process then stops and we will wait for another start signal so that's the actual task so next is what we look at is the actual input and output signals. So here's my start push button which is normally open, my stop normally closed, I have my empty sensor, my full sensor and these are my inputs themselves. I also have a, a timer um, which is uh, needs to be uh, memory attentive and then my actual outputs we have a mixing motor, we have a solenoid A which is the fill and solenoid B which is the empty. So now that I have my, I define my task, define my inputs outputs, then we want to look at the actual logic and the solving of the logic. So we use the sequence table in this particular one and to read the sequence table we um, first of all put down all of our inputs and then our outputs. So you'll notice that uh, they exactly match um, when I define my inputs and outputs in the previous step. So my first step here is um, everything is off and we have nothing on the output which is correct. The next thing is we hit the start button and we have solenoid A filling up and it continues to fill up until the empty sensor and the full sensor are on. And when that happens, we turn off solenoid B and A, and we turn on the mixing motor and the timer. When the timer is done, and we still have those full sensors, then we turn on the solenoid B, which is the empty, and it empties out until all the sensors are off again and we're back to the next step which is the start button. So if we've, we've now uh, developed the third one and this is the most important step is the sequence table and what we want is we want to actually ask ourselves what happens when power goes off to the sequence and um, so what we do is we look at that and we say okay well we need some memory attentiveness so that means that if someone hits the uh, power goes off or the PLC goes into program mode then it remembers the last step and continues on. So keeping that in mind now we're ready for the actual development of the PLC program. So here my first step here I have memory attentive and basically um, the start button um, this actually starts the whole sequence so I start push button going through my normally closed stop. We'll energize this. This seals this in until my timer's done and my sensor is empty. I have my next section which is also fills the solenoid A. So this is the fill. And based on my sequence uh, chart, you will see that when I have the start push button and my sensors are both off, then it will turn on solenoid A to fill the tank and it continues to fill the tank by sealing this in until the full sensor is reached. You'll notice that I have both a memory retentive and then it actually 
then this actually drives my actual physical uh, output on the PLC, the solenoid A. Once I have uh, my two sensors full and my start sequence there, I start my timer. And my timer, uh, uh, as long as I'm timing and it's not done, it controls the mixing motor. Then I have my uh, empty sensor. Again, I have two outputs. So when the timer's done and the sensors are full, it starts the output. It continues until the empty sensor is no longer there. And that's the end of the program. So the next thing we do is we can test this program using the simulator. So we'll go back to the, the start here. We'll energize the start push button. We'll first of all put in run mode and start button. You'll see my output turns on. It latches on. So currently right now I have a solenoid A filling and my empty sensor uh, comes on and then my full sensor comes on which then stops the filling, the filling and turns on my timer and my timer here is counting and we've set it for this example for 30 seconds so if I were to stop this right now by hitting the stop you'll see that everything stops my memory retentive still is memory retentive I will then uh, turn it back on and continues timing and you'll see my mixing motor is, is still active right now, or active while it's timing. As soon as that timer stops, my mixing motor will stop. So now that we reach our timer, okay, you'll see that my timer is done. And now output B is now on, so now we're emptying the tank. So as we empty the tank, the first one turns off, which is the full sensor. And then eventually, then the empty sensor turns off which then resets the whole cycle. So that's it. Um, that's the entire program and you can see how well it's documented and it all starts with that sequence of operation truly understanding what you're trying to accomplish. And we can, I have a little uh, a GIF and that GIF will actually show you the exactly what we did. So there's the empty cycle then we start filling Then we mix, and then we empty. All right, thanks for watching. For more information, please visit our website at www.accautomation.ca.